been existing on dreams, really, um, and hope. <laughs> hope, faith, and dreams, I like to say. Jessica Sempak started Hospice Hearts with a purpose, to take in the pets whose owners can no longer care for them. That got Terry Fields' attention. I dipped my toe in the water and then jumped in all the way. The adoptions make everything worthwhile. One of my favorite stories is about Oliver. His owner died. We found out about him, healed him, took him to an adoption event. There was a veteran there who had wanted a battle buddy. He picked up Oliver and Oliver just melted into him. That was it. My favorite animal is Timmy, and Timmy came to us. He was a 21-year-old cat whose owner went into a nursing home while a young couple who was expecting their first baby reached out to us, and they said, you know, we'd like to adopt Timmy. Obviously, we found a very special young woman willing to open up her heart and home. We've watched this relationship really blossom. They're grateful to see their work come to fruition. I get messages and pictures constantly of these happy stories of people who are just ecstatic by um, this old animal that, you know, shouldn't even be alive. And we get those little spots of sunshine every now and then, and it makes everything worth it. It's definitely a um, humbling experience um, to know that there's animals that and families that are deeply impacted by your work. And I think that there's a greater mission or a greater cause. Hospice Hearts is actually made up of about 10 people, and almost all of them have full-time jobs. And yet, one to two of them are always at every single event they have. But if you'd like to help them out, they can actually take your donations. Here's that information. You can head to their Facebook page. You can see the latest cats and dogs up for adoption. And you can donate to them, too. Donations go straight toward those animals' needs, and that includes dental care, vaccinations, and specialized food. If you have ideas for my next outs around town, just contact me. We'll be right back.